Hi guys and girls, Nix user here. Well, I did promise you last time when we did that VLC video that uh, we'd uh, find a workaround for or a compile uh, solution for that uh, no Chromecast option showing up. So, uh, without any further ado, I'm going to take you through that. So, what you, first of all, you got to realize is that uh, in a base install like this, this is a Debian install in a virtual machine, you're not going to have much going on. I've installed KDE uh, since I've had a complaint about my use of GNOME. Um, personally, I don't mind the look of KDE, it's just that GNOME is the standard environment. But uh, anyway, so what we'll do is we're going to get Firefox uh, fired up, okay, and we're also going to get a terminal fired up. And what we're going to do is we're going to download a few things. So uh, we're going to use a package manager, we're going to be using multiple tabs here. So let's go into it. Okay, so I'm going to need uh, for my down for my downloads and uh, repository syncs. I'm going to need curl and I'm going to need git. So let's just uh, install those without any further ado. Okay, so it's going to take a little bit. While we're at that, we should navigate around for VLC. So let's. Let's go and look for VLC. In fact, we'll go for the VLC source download. And I can't spell. Okay. So we're going to be downloading 3.0 because obviously that's the, the latest version that's considered stable. So we're going to go um, copy link location and we're going to open a new tab. I'm going to make a directory called source. I rec recommend this uh, that as you start building up source. Uh, source code on your machine that you use a dedicated source code um, build directory like so. So let's get into that source directory and download the source for VLC. So let that do its uh, stuff. Now, uh, now that we've got curl and git, um, we need to install a couple of dependencies. Uh, well, more than a couple of uh, dependencies. That's Google's um, protocol buffer. So let's have a look at that. So proto buff. Okay, so it's going to be this one here. Can probably drop that tab off, no need for that. And we're going to go and grab that. And this is the reason why we grabbed um, git straight up so we can go straight in. I've learned from mistakes um, not to uh, wait around to get git and, and curl. So uh, let's go git clone let that do its biz. Now there is going to be a bit of a a bit of a delay in getting the source code. It's going to take a little bit of time. So, so next thing is uh, we've got uh, some other issues here. Now the key issue with this was I did not have lib micro DNS dev installed and um, the I found this out by actually going into Wikipedia. So and just lovely here device discovery protocols. Now it used to be dial uh, but it's no longer uh, dial. It's actually uh, MDNS, multicast domain and name system, of which there's a mini DNS, uh, sorry, micro DNS, which is uh, implementing this. So what I can do is apt cache search micro DNS. Oh, that'd be a search, by the way, with a hyphen there, and apt install, and we'll go lib micro DNS dash dev install that. Get on with the job. Good. So it's one of the key uh, dependencies that we can install. So the next one that I'm going to do is the lib, uh, the, the GUI stuff. Okay, so, um, so apt cache. In fact, I know what these are. Let's go apt install libqt5 svg5 dev. Um, let's install qt base 5 private dev and let's install Wayland protocols. Okay. So that's going to get us a nice big a big download that we require there. Now we'll just let those continue for a moment. And I'll probably just speed it up a little bit here.
Okay, so a, another one that you're going to find is that we do not have uh, libav installed and you'll get a compile error if you, error if you don't have libav. Libav is from the FFmpeg project but you're going to have a bit of fun and games getting all the things that are installed uh, when you do VLC so I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to end up with a nice big um, list like that. Actually it's not PLC, it's libav. Okay, so you're going to get a, a nice big uh, spiel like that. So I'm going to grab that against ffmpeg. Okay, and we only want things that are, are dev. Now we're going to um, we're going to escape that uh, hyphen, so it needs to be escaped. Oh. Okay, and now we're going to do is pass this through awk. And we're just going to get it to uh, print dollar one. Okay, so this is going to give you a nice list, nice narrowed list of what you need. So what you're going to do is apt get install and dollar. So you defer to the list and you just go yes. So it's going to go and install those items now from FFmpeg, which is important libraries. So we can probably, at this point, um, get on with the ta task of um, doing a uh, protobuf. But one of the things we should consider first is getting some of the dev stuff in for VLC because it's going to pull in some libraries that are needed for building in general. So let's do that now. So apt build dev VLC. A whole bunch of stuff has to come in. Now fortunately I'm downloading this from my local service provider who does provide um, free and open source software source packages um, for the various distributions and whatnot but uh, you might not have that so you, of course this mileage might vary on whether you can do this or not. So it's going to take about a minute and 30 seconds so I'm probably going to fast forward at this point. So as you can see that's just uh, completed there and now we need to move on to our lib protobuf. So we'll uh, make our way into our source directory and we'll uh, cd into protobuf which has been synced via git and uh, we're going to have to run autogen because there's no configure file in here as you can see so there's going to be a little bit of work. Now if you didn't install, uh, if you didn't install curl before you're going to find an issue when you um, start to doing the configure stuff. Uh, because curl is going to be a dependency required to download the uh, some other source files um, uh, related to this gmoc. So anyway, let's get on with it. As you can see, curl is being called straight away. Now, obviously, I'm not going to keep you waiting through this, so we'll fast forward this through this section as well. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're now going to run the configure script. Because you can see there are multi multiple configure scripts that it's actually running. Okay, so now that it's done the configure and we don't have any errors, what's going to happen is we're going to now run the make. So we're going to run make and in this system uh, we have uh, four threads available. I want to keep one for the operating system. So, uh, so what we'll do is we'll go uh, make J3. Now it's going to take a little bit uh, to build. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to source and we're going to untar this VLC. Now that's done, we can go back to protobuf and uh, I'll let you fast forward through that section. So after a little bit of a wait you can see the protobuf has now been compiled. Uh, it's now time to go back to our root, direct, uh, root um, yeah, login and uh, make our way to the uh, protobuf directory so that we can install it. So now that that's installed, it's now time to just check that it is actually installed where we need it to be.
And you can see the protobuf stuff is there. And that was actually without specifying the prefix equals slash user slash local slash lib. Now, a good idea at this point, and I've noticed some errors if I don't do it, is to run ld config. It ensures that uh, linking is consistent, i.e. that binaries are aware uh, via ld uh, exactly where their uh, dependencies, their dynam dynamic linking libraries are. So next we go back to VLC and we'll start the, uh, the compile uh, for VLC. Now, I want you to pay particular attention to the, uh, to the configure uh, statements that I make. So I'm going to explain what this is all about. You have the prefix which you're telling it to install in slash user slash local. Honestly, you could probably install it in your uh, home directory if you really wanted to, and it might even be less hassle with what I'm about to tell you um, regarding the install, uh, the installation and making it sort of um, integrate with your desktop. But uh, we have this S out which is uh, is actually required um, for really for the Chromecast to actually work. So these are the recommended uh, flags that you'll see a lot around the place. This is actually the uh, the flag that you will need, I'll need to double hyphenate that, uh, to enable the, um, uh, the MDNS uh, that is referred to here, the multicast domain name system. Uh, I only discovered this last night, so uh, instead of you guys hunting around for it, here you go. So we'll give that uh, a few moments to uh, to do the configure, and you can fast forward at this point. I'm going to fast forward for you. Okay, so that's done. Uh, you can see here that we have the, uh, an almost full suite of uh, VLC aliases. Uh, important to note that you have QVLC here. Uh, that's by virtue of the fact we installed the GUI related libraries, the Qt5 um, dev libraries. So it, that wouldn't have occurred if you didn't do that. So let's go make J3. Again, you can just fast forward through this point. Uh, I'm going to speed things up a little. So, welcome back, and you can see that uh, VLC has uh, compiled. Um, now, we can actually test to see that VLC is working, at least the GUI side of things. Um, but before we go to uh, the renderer, we'll just close that down and we'll try and actually install it. Okay, so we'll go CD, previous directory, and into VLC, and we'll go prefix equals slash user slash local make install. Okay, so again, uh, VLC has been installed. Um, let's see how that goes. So I'll go which VLC, and you can see it's from slash user slash local slash bin slash VLC. Now if I type VLC in, unfortunately, I've got a bit of an issue. Now I can only isolate to this to the fact that there are some dependencies in VLC that are required there by the base operating system with KD installed um, that uh, prevent um, me from removing VLC uh, altogether, that at least the binary ver parts of it, uh, some binary parts of it that have been installed from the package manager. Unfortunately it's just a necessary evil in this case. Um, now I'm going to show you a workaround so that you can actually get VLC uh, working for you. Okay, now I installed it in um, slash user slash local slash bin. Uh, that's not actually going to help us in this case. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this source version that I've uh, installed here and I'm going to use in fact I'm going to use this QV or actually sorry this VLC link here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a directory in home called bin. Again one of these things that you should probably do yourself. Um, now I'm going to link uh, in bin to this VLC link okay, which is obviously its own link <laughs> as well. Um, I could actually just go ls ls-l uh, ls and uh, and we can see that it's going to bin VLC static. Why not? Let's do it. Now, now that's complete, uh, we should be able to see a proper link to here. Now, the next thing, the next step that we need to do is actually um, modify. 
um, our path. Okay, so the, what we're going to do that is we're going to edit to bash RC. So that when we call uh, VLC from the command line, um, that it uses our bin directory first to call it. So what we'll do is we'll go vim Oh, we don't have Vim installed, so we'll just use VI, which is installed by default. Okay, and uh, we'll just say uh, path equals, and um, that's just saying let's prepend that bin directory. So we'll quit from that, and we'll source the um, the bash RC file just to make sure that it's actually doing its thing, and uh, echo dollar path. And you can see that uh, slash home slash nix user slash bin is being referenced first. And if I were to say which uh, VLC static, you can see it's there. Uh, we could rename that VLC static if you really wanted to. It's not a big deal. Um, so what I can actually do now is I can borrow this. I'm going to copy it. And it just so happens that I actually happen, happen to have an existing VLC um, I don't have an existing VLC in there actually, funnily enough. Uh, I thought I did. Uh, I did in a previous install. Uh, not a big deal, I guess. What we can do is, in fact, we can actually add... We'll try and add one in there. So I'm going to make this... Um, I'm going to make that, and we're going to copy... to our... We're going to copy that desktop file to our local now we have the VLC media player uh, but we're going to just modify that there is a way you could do it in the command line but uh, why not uh, make things easy for ourselves so just go back here actually go deliberately through applications multimedia and find the VLC player there and we're just going to edit the application and we're going to tell it actually to start from here. Okay, so we just go OK. And now we've got VLC. Well, let's start VLC. VLC starts as though it's the a local install instance. Okay, so the next thing that we want to actually check is that Chrome is working for us, rather that Chromecast is working for us. So. I'm going to change the renderer to Chromecast and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my host operating system and in fact I'm going to uh, go to another terminal and I'm going to um, copy a, uh, a previous video uh, into this there. virtual machine. That's done now. We can go back to our virtual machine, maximize that to full screen again and we'll just go to uh, open VLC um, open file and go into our videos and we'll find that Fedora one there and it's going to take a couple of seconds, it's in a virtual machine, it's going to be a little slower than usual you can see it started there and let's go and verify that it's actually playing so as you can see, success um, now, basically, the key takeaways from this is that there's an undocumented requirement. Uh, well, it's documented in Wikipedia that you'll need a multicast domain name system, and in fact, that that is um, the implementation is libmicrodns-dev. Um, at least uh, that's what I've required. Uh, I hope that this assists you in your efforts of compiling VLC uh, 3.0 on your machine to support uh, Chromecast. Uh, if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Uh, if you like this video, just smash that like button. Uh, hopefully you'll share it with your friends. And if you really like the content and want to continue uh, seeing it, uh, please press that subscribe button. I'd like to also add that I've added a Patreon link uh, to the main banner and usually to the videos, and you'll see a link below uh, for my Patreon if you'd like to um, donate to that. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye for now.